what's up? So we are here today with Democracy 3! I figured this would be a good game, you know, with the president. Pres presidential elections coming up, so we're gonna play some of this and I'm going to run for president. Actually, I'm, it's not running for president. It's more or less uh, being president. So I'm going to be the president, and <laughs> I'm just going to mess everything up on purpose, probably. Anyway, um, I turned off assassinations and uh, the political capital because it sucks to get assassinated. Presidents don't really get assassinated even when they're hated pretty bad, and. Um, Political capital will limit your actions, and I think we should have whatever we want, you know? Kind of like a sandbox mode. But anyway, so we're going to start a new game here. And we're going to play. I I don't know UK's government. I'm going to go with what I know. States, of course. So these are some of the beautiful stats. If you want to read through those, you can pause it. Alright, so we're going to do with the general, um, what do you call it? You know, presidential thing. So we got the two. You can have up to two terms in four years, of course. Hurricanes, earthquakes, sure. Um, nah. So I'm just gonna put it on regular difficulty. We'll leave all that all the same. I don't care. All right, party name. So we can pick a party, or we can choose a party, or we can name our own party. So let's name our own party. We're gonna call it uh the Bunny Party because everyone loves the bunny party. Who doesn't? And, uh, the enemy will be the... Well, the opposition, because, you know, it's like Democrats, Republicans, but we're not doing that here. There's no such thing here. We're doing the... bunny... hater party. Because nobody likes bunny haters. Like, who hates bunnies? Maybe farmers. Because they eat the crops, but... You know, you shouldn't hate bunnies. Bunnies don't do nothing to you. Talking to you, farmers. Alright, so let's return to the government, even though we're just starting. Alright, so our healthcare shit. Our education's good. Poverty's whatever. Crime is pretty bad. Unemployment is pretty bad. I mean, it's up there. GDP is. Uh... So, begin term. Oh boy, look at all the buttons we got. We got tons and tons of buttons. So, the white is your statistic no is your um not your statistic it is your decision so it's like kind of your law in a way so like you can raise your taxes or you can like um choose abortion law and all that shit like your decisions as president your blue are your statistics so like your technology it'll show you if you hover over that it'll show you what Technology is giving lots of things to like internet crime and technological advance makes sense The green is when you're doing really good in something for example. We have a huge technology Technological advantage and the red is the opposite of that So we got the skill sort sh sh Skill shortage thank you self no problem so we got our income and How much money we spend The debt's not up here. Where's the debt? There's normally debt. I'm not sure where the debt is. Normally there's a debt though. So I'm not sure where that is currently. Hmm. I just oh no, I didn't click on that, okay. So I haven't changed anything yet. So I'll show you what people like about you and don't like about you. I'll show your political compass, but haven't done anything yet, so. Alright, so your cabinet ministers, people you don't like, your achievements, yeah, whatever. That's just past stuff. Implementing new ideas so you can add new ideas, whether they're taxes or things to the economy or whatever. So we you normally would have a certain amount that you could do per turn. I don't know where the debt is. I I might have accidentally turned it off. Oh well. Anyway, we're not going to go into debt. So we're going to work on getting our expenditure up. I mean down. Our income up. And yeah. 
So let's start. Let's let's just what's a what's bad? Let's try to fix what's bad. All right, we got vigilante mobs, which is obviously from crime, and our death penalty is apparently too lenient. And it's due to vigilante mods, we're getting down on tourism because tourists don't want to be killed. Logical. So let's try to get rid of these vigilante mods. So apparently the death penalty being a little bit stronger. What is it? Mass murderers only? Let's just let's just make it something else. For homicide, yeah. For homicide homicidal rape. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Rapists deserve it, so let's do that. Yeah, there we go. We did something good. So over time, um, as you hit your next button, I don't know what the time limit that passes by, if it's months. Each turn takes three months, so every time we hit next, it'll be three months, and um, it'll slowly go from the position we moved it, which is here, to here. Well, slowly, depending on your minister, and our guy's 27% effective, so he's alright. Alright, so let's look at another issue that we can fix. Obesity! Alright, let's work on that, I guess. So what do we got? State health and food standards. Food standards. So let's do state health. We can... Well, yeah, let's throw a little more money into the health, you know? All major operations. Yeah. There we go. So we're spending a little more. That will take from that. But our minister is very effective, so that's good. And let's do one more thing. Let's raise a tax or something. What is this? Tobacco tax. Well, smoking is bad, so... Let's <laughs> just tax the fuck out of it. We got 106 billion for taxing it. That would go into healthcare. So, I mean, if we announce that to the public, then we'll have an effective government, won't we? Because we are currently going to take away... We're gonna kill smoking, take the money from people who decide to buy cigarettes, and put it into... Healthcare. But, I mean, we should advertise that, you know. Alright, so let's hit the next button. We'll return to the government. What do we got? Alright, so poverty went up. Is that bad or good? It shows a little green arrow, but I feel like more poverty is bad. So maybe, maybe it means it's going up, but it's bad. Alright, ban alcohol adverts. There's a proposal for a law to outlaw the advertising of alcohol on TV! Uh, so... Although it will remain legal to advertise. Um, it's, it might not stop alcoholism, but a TV ad ban. Nah, fuck it, dude. Whatever. Okay. So the poor, or the poor are liking me less. And everyone's liking me less, probably because of the tobacco tax and the, oh, and the internet crime and everything. Okay, so why are the poor liking me less? Because of the homeless problem, okay. Let's work on that this time. It's because the property tax is too high, I'm guessing? So what's this? Unemployed benefit. So that puts a negative impact on both the homeless and the capitalist. Okay, so what if we take the property tax, where was the property tax, here, let's just, you know, oh no, decrease it, let's just decrease it a little bit, what was that now, was it 8%, let's just 7%, just a, just a little tiny bit, okay, because now we're making money, because due to our, uh, our good thing there, cool, so that's good. And I'm sorry if you guys don't agree with my decisions. Like I said, I'm just kind of messing around. I, I don't know. Some of my ideas seem stupid. Like, look, okay. Drugs. Completely legal. <laughs> We're going to actually try to succeed a little bit. I mean, you know, that might work for some, but not others. All right, let's look at us some ideas. Let's see, what do we got? Taxes? Let's, let's find some taxes. Flat income tax. Every citizen pays the same marginal rate of income tax, regardless of their total income. That's kind of, like, screwed up. Internet tax? Nope. <laughs> nope. You ain't taxing my internet, bro. Luxury goods tax? Eh. I mean, 
technically they tax luxury goods already. Let's okay. Let's just make it low. We'll earn a little bit of money, you know. It won't affect people too much. Seven percent, whatever. And then let's do one more action. 